Hello, and thank you for your interest in San Diego Instruments SR Lab Startle System. The SR Lab has evolved from the first automated startle testing system, and for more than 30 years has always been the leading choice of scientists throughout the world. Because of its power, flexibility, and ease of use, the SR Lab is the de facto standard for startle testing. The SR Lab is delivered as a complete hardware software system ready for any of the wide variety of startle applications like prepulse inhibition studies, habituation or other learning or memory tests, toxicology assessments, behavioral phenotyping, and the effects of drugs. These and other testing applications are available in the standard SR Lab software. There's no need to obtain and install additional software. All the commands needed for the control of any accessory or hardware option are included in the basic system. There are many special purpose accessories and these can be added with simple plug-in type installations. Importantly, it's also just as easy to add up to 16 complete test stations to your system. Just plug them in. The user may select between two sound attenuating cabinet types which are virtually equivalent in performance. The prime cabinet is the original SR cabinet, which is larger and heavier than the more recently developed ABS cabinet, which while smaller and lighter is the more economical choice. Note that both enclosures feature smooth, non-absorbent interior and exterior surfaces to simplify cleaning and sanitizing. Animals for testing are placed in enclosures which are sized to, to properly position but not restrain the subjects. To ensure the correct fit in an enclosure, five sizes are available to accommodate animals from the smallest mouse to the largest rat. Enclosures are easily interchangeable, so conversion from large to small animals can be accomplished in just seconds. Animals for testing are placed in enclosures which are sized to properly position but not restrain the subjects. To ensure the correct fit in an enclosure, five sizes are available to accommodate animals from the smallest mouse to the largest rat. Enclosures are easily interchangeable, so conversion from large to small animals can be accomplished in just seconds. A noteworthy result of SDI's many years of working with scientists in a variety of disciplines is the availability of specialty enclosures, like the slotted top enclosures for animals with implanted electrodes or cannulas. The standard SR Lab uses closely controlled broad spectrum white noise as the stimuli for auditory startle. The duration and intensity of the noise is separately controlled for use as the startle stimulus, a prepulse signal, or a background level. The rise time of the stimuli are well within that required for the elicitation of startle, and intensities of up to 120 dB are settable. The source of the noise stimulus is centrally located above the animal's enclosure, so, unlike competing systems, no shifting of the enclosure is needed to achieve reliable stimulation. Several additional stimulus options are available, including pure tone stimuli, an air puff tactile stimulus kit, a Q light or high intensity light kit, and the SR Lab Animal Shocker which is widely used for potentiated startle studies. Again, there's no need to buy additional software. Animals' responses are measured through the use of an ultra-sensitive accelerometer, the only acceptable device for sensing startle reflexes. Unlike other sensors, accelerometers measure dynamic movements rather than static weight. They are faster, and the full range of the device is available irrespective of the weight of the test animal. So useful is accelerometer technology that these devices have become the industry standard for the measurement of high-speed movements. They are used in everything from rockets to the iPhone. In the SR Lab, animal response sensors are hermetically sealed to the enclosure for close, artifact-free coupling in recording responses. It is worth a moment here to clarify another technical point. All sensors used to measure startle basically put out only voltage changes. 
These voltages can be recalculated, converted, and reported in many different ways, as millivolts, as newtons, or in other units. But all startle systems are, at their core, voltage measuring systems. Because basic response voltages are always converted in some way before being reported, even if the conversion is just an averaging over the response period, it is imperative that the user be able to validate the calculation by having all the response points available. Accordingly, the SR lab records in a file the complete waveform of the subject's response for each millisecond and the full response period. Of all the features incorporated in the SR lab, the system software is viewed with the most favor. The SR Lab has been specifically designed for ease of use, and all the aspects of system operation are accomplished by plain language entries or selections. No obscure programming codes are ever required. The software has evolved to the point where even the most complex startle sessions can be administered by straightforward entries, often by simply selecting among menu choices. The SR Lab offers power and flexibility for the most sophisticated user, yet ease of use for the educated non-specialist. For both user groups, the careful design and production of the SR Lab hardware and software are aimed at the goal of reducing variability in test results to an absolute minimum. The SR Lab provides essential pre-test diagnostic routines for the examination of both response and stimulus operations. Although there are self-tests in the system, these routines are not just passive checks. The user can actively manipulate stimulus and response components and observe the effects. For example, the user might tap or vibrate the animal chamber and see the result on an oscilloscope display. You can also test and adjust the audio startle pulse from the same screen. Enter a value in the box labeled audio and produce a sound level that correlates directly to values in the trial and session definitions. Then dB levels can be confirmed with the sound pressure level meter that's included with each system. Session setup in the SR Lab is a straightforward process involving two principal steps. The selection of the stimulus elements that constitute the individual trials to be used and then the assembly of these trials into a test session. The setup process has been likened to the stringing of beads, where the beads are the trials and the string is the session definition. To make the setup as convenient as possible, menus are provided from which, in making trials, stimulus elements can be selected from the alternatives presented, and, in creating sessions, the user is stepped through the definition process. Of course, trial and session definitions are always saved and can be reused in any number of testing sessions and shared in many ways, even among a group of researchers. Starting a test session with the SR Lab involves selecting from among your pre-written sessions, choosing a data file name, and adding subject identifications which can be entered at test time or from a pre-existing subject ID file. Because almost all the files required for testing may be composed at any time, the SR Lab is ideal for situations in which complete test sessions are set up by a senior investigator, locked into secure files, and then run by technicians. During test execution, run startle session screens are displayed. These screens provide an operator with extensive and invaluable real-time information on the progress of testing and the subject's response during testing. Should problems occur during testing, pause and abort session buttons are provided. The main runtime screen provides identifications for the session and, for every test subject, response values for the most recently executed trial. A graph of responses for the group of chambers is also included. Other runtime display options can be selected to view the status of the session while it is running, including all channel graphs in which all subjects' responses are individually displayed, an ID table display of the subject identification table, or an average display 
which can be used as an aid in standardization. All test data are stored in secure files from which three types of reports may be obtained. First are formatted reports which contain the peak response, the latency to the peak, and the average within the response interval for each trial. The view wave option deals with the values for every millisecond in the response period. A graphic waveform of the response is displayed, and numeric data for the first peak in the response and the first peak's time to onset are added to the summary data contained in the formatted report. Notable in ViewWave is the ability to retain data as gathered or to apply user selected parameters to rescore data to eliminate false peaks or to make other recalculations to the original data. The third data management section is comprised of the SRR Labs data export options. The primary utility is the ability to transfer files in easily handled and universally portable CSV flat files. But also contained in this section are useful options for combining data files that, among other uses, might be used to consolidate data from several sessions within the same experiment. We believe that the SR Lab represents the state of the art in computer based startle systems with power, flexibility, and ease of use. The present system has been developed through interactions with research scientists throughout the world. It is a system that can be used with complete confidence. The SR Lab has CE certification for use in Europe, and FDA CFR Part 11 compliant software is available. The system now has the benefit of modern component technology, newly available computer hardware and software environments, and simplified compliance and data management procedures. We thank the many scientists who have contributed to the development of the SR Lab system, making it a system that is truly designed by scientists for scientists. Please contact San Diego Instruments for any additional information that you might need. To request an SR Lab quotation, simply click on the link below. Again, SDI is a full service resource for behavioral testing.